Welcome back to the adventures of Emperor Oconte, the missionary of the Holy Roman Empire. I've recorded this so many times now, I'm going insane. So, last episode we grabbed the whole of Bulgaria, which was uh, very, very useful. Nice and good. Good step towards the Ro Roman Empire as well. I was going to call it the Holy Roman Empire then, but we're already a bit past that. We made Constantinople our capital and fully rebuilt the damn place. And also vassalized the Pope after installing an antipope as well. Now, last episode, a comment was left that I want to discuss very briefly. So a comment was left that said, why don't you, as a sort of um, final show of, of lack of faith in the Catholic faith, that didn't really work, what it shows as a, as, a, as a lack of belief in the Catholic system, flip over to a different religion, like a, like a heresy or a branch of Catholicism or, or something like that that we don't normally see in the game. And being that we're playing HIP, there are a lot of those religions which have been massively fleshed out, like they have a huge amount of detail in now. So I've gone through... All of the Catholic subdivisions, branches, whatever you want to call them, heresies. I've checked them all out, and there are sort of five that uh, strike me as the most developed. So those are Lollard, Cathar, Waldensian, Bogomolist, and my personal favorite is Paulician. Simply because, so there's a lot of various effects, you know, most of them, if not all of them that I've listed there, have a way of um, making a new religious head, getting rid of the Pope, you know, and setting up your, your I mean, more to point means we could take Rome. However, Paulician is unique in that it's the only one of those religions that would allow us to make ourselves the religious head. And I think that's the important thing here. We would be able to be a secular ruler, so being the ruler of the religion whilst also being the head of the Roman Empire. Sort of similar, I guess, to when you reform uh, Hellenism in the base game as Rome. We could do the same thing, but from the aspect of Catholicism. So we're sort of embodying Rome, but from, you know, the, the perspective of a new world, you know, with the dominant religion. So I think that'd be kind of cool. And that, that is Paulician, just to uh, hammer that point at home. So that's my personal favorite. But of course, if you guys have got any suggestions for things I'd like to check out, let me know. And again, they're the ones that are the most fleshed out in the HIP uh, sub-mod. So um, those, those are my personal favorites. But again, with Paulician... Being able to set ourselves up the religious head has unique features as well. It's very militaristic too. It also has uh, the ability, and this one's quite unique, to declare war on other Christian rulers. Holy war, that is. Which is quite rare that you'll be able to do that. So if, say, for example, we had, I don't know, this, this dude over here didn't want to become a, a follower of our religion, or if we didn't convert or whatever, we could just declare holy war, which is fantastic, obviously. We could also get infidel title revocation, just quickly sort everything back. I say quickly, it would take hours, but we could revoke everything and dish it all back out again. And a mechanism that sort of suggested for making this possible, um, the actual comment said, join the Benedictine or the Dominican order. We'll probably go Benedictine because there's stewardship, but that's irrelevant. At level four, it gives us the opportunity to convert county. Now, if we flip religion and don't unpause, we can stay part of the order because they'll only kick you out after they've had enough time for this guy to basically send you a letter saying, hey, GTFO. If we don't unpause, we still have access to the ability to convert county. Now, what we could do is we could stack up just a shit ton of society currency. We'd actually have to stack up a lot. And then convert all the important points in our empire from whatever we're playing as Catholic, which we are now, to whatever we convert to. Ideally, Paulician, because that one sounds fun. Not only that, we can set ourselves up as the head of Rome, or uh, head of the uh, faith in Rome, and make Rome our capital instead of Constantinople, which kind of makes a little more sense. I don't think Rome has any particularly unique buildings um, outside of actual... Maybe if we're... Maybe Paulician, as the head of the faith, might let you hold... Um, you know, it might let you hold church holdings, temple holdings, which would be great, because obviously Rome itself, or, or this, I, I assume this would be the Vatican, would be incredible. That would be huge if we could get that. But, you know, again, it's up to you guys. You let me know what you think about that one. In the meantime, we've got a lot of shit to be doing, such as a massive war against the Seljuks. Now, to my knowledge, we have no Casas Bella against these guys, and honestly, I'd rather hit them with the invasion anyway, simply because we want to take the whole of Anatolia, we want to take Northern Africa, and we want to take the rest of the Levant as well. So... As this dude, we're going to try and tidy up what's left of Greece to get. So we're going to take out Epiros. We've also got this guy. Corinth is independent. Uh, off of vassalization? No. Not my Dijon liege. Are we not? Oh, you know what? No, we're not, are we? So what can we declare war to grab from this dude? We could maybe get him excommunicated. The Pope say no. Why? Um, because we've got free investiture. You, what, you mean the free investiture that got you crowned, you Pope idiot? Um, this guy also has a high amount of piety. So if we killed him off and put a child on the throne instead... Or this lady, for example, he might change his mind. What? What is the... Um, so let's go request claim. Now, he's going to say no because he's crowned by the Pope, which is annoying. You know, if we kill him off, we get went to war. But he wouldn't have the piety. He wouldn't have the crown by the Pope. It's unlikely to have zealous. Um, 
Acceptance score is minus three, so actually we're very, very, very close to getting it anyway. So, it'll be very useful. Now, we don't actually need to grab much either, because he hasn't got a huge amount of the kingdom left. And we might get that event whereby it's destroyed, because he just doesn't own enough. We've also got to draw claims and things like that. Um, and it, we're going to have to kill him off anyway, so why don't we push... Oh, you know what? We've got a vassal there. He won't become our vassal. That's annoying. I don't know why. Um... That's a real shame. Is there anyone that we could potentially land nearby? In fact, do we even have any land nearby we could give out? Um, yes, we do. We have this one, but that counts as Serbia. It's annoying. Um, we could land him and try and push a claim, but again, without, you know, land pre-existing, it could be kind of annoying to try and do that. Oh, God, we've also got all this crap as well. Let's give that away. We might as well keep this because we're kind of close to our... Well, we're not, we're not close to our domain limit. I'm happy to stay around 10 because any success we get is hopefully going to have 10. So, the plan then. Um... I think we're just going to go to war with this dude and grab whatever the hell we can and then kill him off and then maybe grab something else. We can't just, like, force vassalize him. No, we can't do anything. All right. Um, let's push one of our vassal claims then just because it will keep them happy. How many dudes has he got? Um, did I see that already? I have 20. Oh, no, 13,000. It's fine. So our retinues are right there anyway. So we might as well just start whittling away at these neighbor states that have land that obviously we want for Rome. And then in the meantime, I might start work on the religious game. Now, the other thing I've got to mention is that alongside potentially doing what I said with the, uh, or doing what was suggested with the Benedictine or the, uh, the other one, the Dominican order, we could just found the religious secret cult, which is always quite fun. Oh my god, she's pregnant. Was that not something we were struggling with last episode? Oh, maybe not. Am I remembering that right? We've got 25% fertility, so I don't see why we wouldn't. I don't know why we'd be struggling with it anyway. I thought she was chased or something like that. Anyway, um, thank you. I do need some gold, so I appreciate that show of support. We can also usurp a title as well. Um, we might as well grab that. There's no reason not to grab that. And we'll give it to, uh, why can we get that one? What province was, what did we just grab? Um, it's this one. Oh, wow, it's all the way up here. Okay, fair enough then. Um, so I'll actually turn up some vassals as well if we're clever with it. So we'll give it to this guy. And then the other two should be vassalized under him, I think. Nothing, no change. Oh, it's because they're probably under, yeah, they're, okay, they're under someone else. Ignore that. Well, at least we've stopped the guy becoming far too powerful. Right, let's go and attack his, okay, 6.7. Three on this one, though. Three on the war goal, which is quite nice. So we'll quickly assault this one down as much as possible. Send him to the dungeon again. We'll kill this dude off when we're done with this war. Blessed is past, blessed is past. Now, I wonder if you're... The head of the Polician religion, would that give you the ability... Is that a separate province? I wonder if it's a lake. Would that give you the ability to name people saints at your own behest? I'm not entirely sure how that would work, and I almost feel like they haven't thought that far ahead. No way we'd be able to do it. You could just name every single one of your family members saints, and then... Uh, maybe it's when they die? Maybe it'll be like... Maybe the game will basically decide for you and just be like, Oh, this person, I just want to make him a saint. I'm not sure. Because otherwise you could just go back and retroactively name all of your family members saints and just be the most holy dude that's ever lived. Seems a little bit broken. Oh well, well I guess we might find out if you guys are up for that. I think it'd be kind of fun anyway. Right, get rid of you guys. Instruct Tortugal, like my cousin. Yeah, that's it. I remember him. Don't worry, I remember you, my dude. Um, Alright, so we've only got four left on this capsule. I think if we take this one out, we're good. Oh, religious head intervention. Nice. Okay, absolutely. Um... Decline on theological grounds. No, absolutely. You can have head investiture. I wanted to change that anyway. I'll buy something nice. Something for the wife. And is that going to give us kind or charitable? Neither. That sucks. Not that it matters. I wonder if he'll make us a saint just because we're like his religious head and actually put him on the... Be kind of hypocritical if he didn't, eh? Anyway, uh, let's get on with this war. Now, we probably should already start firing the plot to kill this dude off. In fact, the Pope, we might not need to. Oh, we, we will on the fact that we'll have a truce. But I was going to say we might not need to because the Pope would probably just let us have it now. Because it was only minus three. Um... Press claim. He will just give us claims on these, huh? How often can we do that? 480 months. I don't know whether that is the cooldown on that. That's 408 months. Quite a while. That's actually quite a long time. Um, I wonder if we get a claim, kill him off, and that resets it. Well, I'm going to do it start off with here. The Thema Halidos, I assume that is, I was going to say, uh, the capital here. So we could grab what they give us. Two counties? It's just two counties. What about this one here? Um, Pella... Palaponesu. That sounds useful. Alright, so there's three there. So that's his most powerful duchy, I believe. He's got Durakion as well, which is three. Or he's got this one here, Epiros, which I think is just two. So I think grabbing this one first, uh, Pel Peloponnesu. I'm I'm an expert in speaking Greek, as you can tell. If we can grab that one, that'd be fantastic. Thank you, Pope. Much obliged. And again, we can't fire against this dude, so we are going to have to kill him off. The request for claim has been granted. Now, I assume we can't just grab another. Uh, Balatar must be available. Apparently, there's not. Oh, we need 2,000 piety for it as well. Okay, it's fairly expensive then. Shouldn't be doing that too often. Who is this? England set up an anti-pope. Did they really? 
Um, we might have to deal with that. I imagine when we play as our next character, when we want to get coronated, the Pope will say, hey, get rid of the Tandy Pope, and sure, we'll let you. Um, oh, shit. Done. Thank you. Nice. Okay. That's good. That's good. Wait. What did we take? Was it that one? I thought we took... Oh, I guess it would, would have been that one. Okay, well, there you go. You're welcome. Right, well, that's a little bit better. But again, we've got a long way to go before we've got everything here. Could we maybe claim this one as well? Claim Corinth? I mean, why not? As the troops are there already. Pull them out. Um, you can assert the title of uh, Jutland in Denmark? Okay, fine. Thank you. Um, there you go. Who wants this? Oh, shit. How have we inherited that bit? Um, it's a merchant republic. I suppose, actually, it doesn't matter too much if they're a... Why can't we grant you a landed title? Uh, why can't I grant him a landed title? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Um, can't grant you a landed title. Fine, we'll just give it to... It was his king of Sweden, I assume. Here you go, my dude. Grant landed title. You can have this one, because I really don't want it. I wanted to grant it to those guys, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Um, I was kind of a little bit against also giving them out... i uh, giving a Dutch title to a Merch Republic, but I guess they were already... Yeah, so there's a Merch Republic, and there's a second one there. He might even be a vassal under the first one. Yeah, he is. Okay. Um, but I guess our other one is only, you know, Venice, right? And they control the south, they control the north, so that'd be good money for us. All right, so, Corinth... You are next. Family first. Thank you. Um, I'll help them work this out. Sure, why not? Now, we must have claims on you. Force vassalization. What if we just offer vassalization? Still no. Really. Opinion of us is low. Foreign culture, not my liege. Hmm. Send him a gift. What about now? Still no. He's really not up for that, is he? Um, I mean, I don't want him on just or, or force vassalization him. So what does that cost us? We lose 250 prestige. Oh, is that it? Just 250 prestige? Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure, just judging by the fact we've got 10,100, we can afford to do that. So I'm absolutely going to unjust uh, or force vassalize him. Unjust conquest is bad because obviously you're taking the land for yourself. Oh, shit. Eda Carling. She's sickly, but she is a prodigy. We may have to flip over to Agnatic Cognatic or maybe even Absolute Cognatic. Um, Eda is terrible. Let's name you after. We must have some now. We must have some great names in the mix. Where... Croissant. Croissant Carling. It's been many generations since the last croissant, Carling. Welcome aboard. Now, can we change succession? Uh, Agnatic Cognatic. We need to be at peace. We need to have no vassals fighting one another. That could be difficult when we haven't got round peace. Uh, oh, no, we do, because the council are empowered, aren't they? Right, we have to be at peace. Council is not... Council is allowed to enforce round peace. Oh, shit, because we've taken so much power away from them. D do they have to have a fully empowered council for that? Is that how that works? Honestly, I've... Oh, it's because... No, we do have an abolished council. Yeah, we do. We could empower them again and go for round peace just to get Agnatic Cognatic, but that's a, a hell of a desperate play. It's like a crazy desperate play. And in fact, it would be Le Stupide that would inherit. Now, I think her name would suggest she's probably not that useful, so we might want to get rid of her first if we do that. Or could we send her to China? Uh, excuse me, my dude. How long till we can send him another... Oh, but she's married. No, she's betrothed. Um... And if she inherits, that would be awful because obviously her children are many, many different dynasties. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, and then it would be my son in line after that. I think we just need to kill my brother. I think I need to get rid of him first. Chris, let's communication. Get out of here. Right. Uh, now what can we do? Does that help at all? Okay. Now what can we do? Um, imprison him? Is this his communicate? No one will care. Now can we execute him? We could banish him. Uh, what if we send to a holy order? Yeah, there we go. Disinherit him. Boom. Get out of here. Nice. Right, so he should be gone now. Is he out of inheritance? Uh, no. He's, he's actually not out of inheritance, though. Head to the Holy Roman Empire. Um, I feel like I've been bamboozled here. Uh, oh, we can send him to a Holy Order again. Is it because he's in prison? Yeah, that's clearly not working, because he's already a member of the Teutonic Order. Uh, what do you think? We just throw him in the Ubilee and let him die? Uh, plot to kill him? 34%? Execute him? No one will mind, but you will be considered a Kinslayer. Oh, god damn it. Throw him in the... Oh, we need to get rid of this dude, but I don't want to get Kinslayer. That's too, that's just awful. Um, if we release him, then what? So he's not in our court anymore. But why is he still... Oh, there we go. We just had to unpause. Okay, that had me worried then for a second. So our new heir is also terrible. Um, base locked since minus 15. Yep. Uh, he's recently requested one. So if we wait for that to... Shit. Why are my other sons so terrible? What about you? Wait, you're not even my son. Who are you? Half-brother? You are terrible. Have we got any brothers that could potentially inherit? No. Um, Fuagara we've got rid of. This is, this is really, actually really genuinely horrible. Um, you know what? Let's deal with this war first. So we have all of our, all of our options open to us here. Most generous offer for this. I will owe him. 
get some inspiring lead it. That's absolutely fine. That, that's, that's probably worth it. Benedictine Order is, uh, need more funds. How many more funds? It's like flat 200 gold though, isn't it? So it's actually not too bad. Uh, it's 100 gold. Absolutely fine. We should probably do that as often as we can then. To try and blast through this quickly so that we can get to teach virtue. And try and teach our kids some virtues. Because this is this is horrible. Um, we can steal this guy's poems. Um, it's brilliant the whole one needs to see a patron in the arts given diplomacy plus one. But, you know, it might also piss him off. We lose a trait cruel. That is good though. That's fantastic. All right, problem solved. Thank you very much. All right, sweet. So that's another thing dealt with there. And who should you be under this? Uh, I mean, this guy can... Oh, I would say this guy could have it, but he definitely cannot. Um, yeah, transfer vassalage. You know what? You can have uh, Corinth, because I'm really not interested. All right, there we go. And we are so dangerously close to our vassal limit that we can't really afford it. So we're just going to get rid of Epiros now, and that's the whole of Greece. Then we've got to obviously take the rest of the Byzantine Empire, so the rest of Anatolia as well there. Um, what have we got going for us? Legalism would give us technology spread rate, short rate minus four, max feudal levies, max city levels. I mean, it's pointless going for that. Um, there may be some buildings that require high customs. Majesty's not bad. Tolerance is also not too terrible either. Temple vassal opinion plus 12, city vassal opinion plus 12. That would unlock ha underscore geb underscore starred underscore 1.16. I assume that person's German and that's just a, a little bit of an issue with localization. We'll ignore that one. That unlocks Citadel. I'm in. Just say no more. That sounds awesome. Right, so let's go to Constantinople. Now, I assume there's other stuff to the Citadel as well. We need siege equipment level 7, improved keeps level 7. Surely we can't be too far off of that now, right? Um, we're really, really not. Or was it church? Church infrastructure or improved keeps level 7? Yes, it was. Um, we're not too far away from either. That's awesome. Thank you, Pope. In fact, that's a new Pope. He's got a mask. That's why he's that's why he's wanting to bend a little bit on this one. Because, uh, you know, we're mask brothers. Thanks. Right, get rid of him. Um, oh, he leaves the most wicked... Yeah, well, there we go. We're, we're more than just mask brothers, it turns out. Thank you very much. He's gone. Um, he doesn't care that I got him excommunicated, apparently. Like, actually doesn't give a shit. Um, can we... Can we get rid of him now? In prison? He's excommunicated to normal care. Put him in the dungeon and then chuck him in the oubliette and then kill him dead. 492% chance to kill him. That'll do. I'll take it. Oh, look at this. This is going to be easy. Right, so he's gone and hopefully we won't be discovered. In fact, with 400, oh, nearly 500% plot power, don't think we're in any trouble here. Another grand tournament. Obviously, I'm doing those as much as possible to reduce down that, uh, that Imperial Decay. Right, does anybody else want to join? It's not really worth it, is it? I'm just trying to expedite the process as quickly as possible because we are banging on a bit. We are 61. I will indeed black your plot. Thank you, I appreciate that. New Marshal, Leonard. He seems pretty useful. Right, okay. Um, then we've got to deal with... I mean, you're okay, though. I actually wouldn't be too mad if this guy inherited. He's short and frail, so he's not fantastic in terms of military. Um, I mean, Pom to Nothing is just goddamn awful. Like, absolutely top-tier terrible. We're going to try and... Uh, Request excommunication of a seven-year-old girl must be an adult. That's understandable, really. Um, no, I'm not going to excommunicate him. Thank you. I did want to set her up a guardian, but I might just try and get rid of her. I think I think we're all in croissant. I think we are all about the croissant game right now. Otherwise, next in line is Tortoglu, who's orthodox. <sighs> Can we just imprison him? Can we imprison the orthodox man? Oh my God! Look at the plot to kill on him. 1,525%. I've never seen it that high before. That's absolutely insane. I mean, if we bribed everyone who wanted to kill this dude, we might be able to get... I don't know what to 600%. Let's be honest. It's not going to be nowhere near close. Game 1 Diplomacy. Thank you very much, Grand Tournament. I mean, I feel like we've lost out more than we've gained with a lot of these tournaments. We always seem to lose, like, Intrigue or something like that. Nice. How lovely. Famous Beauty. Yep. If you're into uh, potatoes, that's absolutely something I can agree with. Fort Hardy did. We weren't allowed to fight, obviously. Um, who's this guy? That's a fancy helmet. That's a fancy hat. Why has he got such a cool hat? Man, I want a hat like that. I did notice that uh, whoever one of these guys, whichever one I... Oh, oh, contrary is disinherited. I sent him to a holy order. Oh, shit. Hang on. Um, perhaps we shouldn't be so fast to kill off us. Wait, no, shit. Are both my sons disinherited? Oh, they are. Oh, the mistakes. Now it's just Tortoglu. And then no one else can inherit. <laughs> I'm talking him back to me now. Um, I think we need to go absolute cognatic as soon as possible. Um, oh my god. Full, we need to have the law full status of women. Really? Or we go agnatic cognatic. We need to have no vassals fighting one another. I'm actually going to do something I would never normally do. We're going to empower the council. Which they don't get to vote on by the way. We're going to force round peace. Uh... They're up for it. My favorite sound effect to CK2 right there. 
We could put a couple of advisors on the board as well. Um, now, the council don't get to vote anything. Why would we ever abolish? It just gives us extra domain size. I'm not going to bother doing that again, to be honest with you. They have no power over anything else, but they could, of course, vote to have power over everything else, which is the only downside to that. So as long as we maintain a good relationship with people, the ability to enforce round peace whenever we want is kind of useful. Right, so now we go Agnatic Cognatic. What else do we need? Um, round peace just to kick in now. So we just got to wait seven months. Please don't die in the next seven months. That would be horrendous. Ah, He's going there. His man on the inside of where Princess Trophier now sits. He will arrange an esca a a escape attempt to get rid of him. Fantastic. And then my child can inherit rather than my half-brother. <gasps> no fingers will be pointing my way. Sentence commuted. Excellent. Okay. So now it's going to be... Oh, if we die now, it's game over. So no pressure. Um, we've got six months. If we die in the next six months, it's actually game over. This is a little bit of a knife edge, huh? Not a fan of this one. Um, he thinks that she should serve him directly. Should she really, though? No, she shouldn't. You're a liar. Why should she serve you directly? What is she under? Oh, Bulgaria? And what are you the king of? Bulgaria. Understandable. Have a great day. Fine. All yours. All yours, my dude. Less vassals for me, the better. Your special friend will be Marshall. Um, Gargamel. Gargamel Carling. My nephew. No. Why can he not inherit? He's incredible. Why can he not inherit? Because he's my, my sister's son? I mean, I, oh, yeah, because I guess she's not in succession. So why the hell would he be in succession, huh? Man, he's incredible. I mean, if we go for Agnatic Cognatic, it just happens to be in line. I'm not going to complain about that. Okay, so now we've got my grandson, Dobromir of Novograd, which, uh, not Novgorod, Novograd. It's wrong. Wrong thing entirely. Uh, not a dynastic successor, I'd like to point out. So he needs to die. Oh, my God. Why have our... I mean, this, this might have also been an equally horrible idea. Um, so how long until one of our family members are in line? Oh, shit. Look at this. My daughter. Les Stupid. <laughs> this, this, this might be a real fuck up. Um, uh, plot to kill him. Just get rid of him. Dobromir, you made me my grandson. I don't know if this counts as uh, kin slang. Right. Okay. i got to focus on killing a whole bunch of kids now. This is proper CK2. We are... I have really, really screwed us now. This is incredible. I love it. Well, the Seljuks just fell apart rather spectacularly. They've got a massive revolt. Sistan's become independent. We've got Shirwan. Whatever that is supposed to be. Look at that guy's turban. That's impressive stuff. That is all now independent. They've lost... What does that say? The Catholic Amicia. Uh, why don't you miss this when I offer you vassalization? No, it must be at peace. Maybe he'll offer. Maybe he'll be up for that. He's also a peasant ruler. That's awesome. Levy size morale of armies. That's that's incredible. Um, peasant revolt apparently won and overthrew them. Arabia is independent. Oh, shit. This is very, very good news for us, obviously. And look at how far our vassals have come in that time, though. My god. Safe peasant is a productive peasant. Thank you for that. <gasps> Melisande. This is a grand gift. If it is a son, we have an inheritor and we are not going to end up with game over screen. Uh, oh, shit. Um, remember, fear. Focus your efforts on increasing your authority over your subjects. Bring prosperity and knowledge because we have not yet forged a bloodline. We only need to kill two more people. Um, fuck it. <laughs> no, no, no. Excuse tyranny abroad. Fuck it. Anybody we can't ransom off? Goodbye. The despot of Epiros will be annoyed. I don't care. Get rid of her. Goodbye. Right. So we could get the execution bloodline now or we could go for an event one. Um, Paragon of Virtue, pro well, we've done these two before, I will remember fear. Let's go for fear, why not? I think this guy's very fearful, I think he's done a lot of fearful things. Pope disobeyed him, Pope's gone, you know? This guy disobeyed him, wouldn't take vassalization, he's gone. Do you guys remember Bulgaria? Yeah, me neither. What was Bulgaria? So I think this guy is a very fearful man. Um, make it disappear, rest chance plus 5% can restore. Oh, yet another victim has fallen to my murderous whims. If I look down at the corpse on the floor, I realize I've managed to stack quite a considerable body count by now. Um, put it somewhere where I can see it gives us the macabre banquet. This one. Can restore reputation through obfuscation. Uh, can personally pursue murder plots. Oh. That sounds useful. It gives vassal opinion minus four. It gives the rest chance. So that's like intrigue. That's like the... Oh, man. Can personally pursue murder plots. Sounds like exactly what we need right now. I'm going to do that. The Butcher of Constantinople. It's hard to reconcile Emperor Au Contraire's charming reputation as a guest with his equally notorious thirst for blood. 
told be a nightmarish creature of told to be a nightmarish creature of darkness. The Lord of Constantinople stalks his prey with the skill and finesse, gaining their trust and toying with them until his board enforces to end the suffering of one victim and move on to the next. Protected by his rank and power, this repulsive murderer has been able to terrorize his lands for years, becoming infamous throughout the realm. I mean, I don't disagree with any of that. Just ask the last two popes. That's awesome. It's like genuinely very, very cool. Become a saint. I'm gonna. That's gonna be a no for me. I feel like that's almost gonna be impossible. Convert promise. We can easily do if we just have our. Oh, our guy's already over there. Sure. Just have our guy over there, and eventually they'll just fire. Um, speaking of over there, what did we just get? Oh, this place. Hey, fantastic. Uh, here you go, my dude. You can have this one. Uh, Leon du Trage. All yours. Wow. Okay, so we've got to check out this bloodline, haven't we? Let's see what we've got here. The vile blood of Emperor Ocontre can personally pursue murder plots. This sounds useful. Okay, so who's in line? My dude? I don't think we can... I think I assume they have to be adults just based on the fact that it's a little bit um, off-color to my knowledge to include murdering children in video games or at least personally strangling them to death. Um, how do I do that, though? Do we just launch a murder plot and then maybe we'll get something that will fire saying like, hey, do you want to strangle this dude to death? At which point I'll say, absolutely, of course I do. Right, let's, everyone else can leave. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Goodbye. Um, thank you. My wisdom and mercy are legendary. He's only saying that because he's horrified. There needs to be... What I really love in the Game of Thrones one is the fear system, right? Whereby... you Because in the Game of Thrones... In, in CK2, you generally just have to be the nicest guy possible to get your vassals to like you. Whereas in the Game of Thrones one, you can be fearful. So if you are cruel and a, and a known murderer and things like that, vassals are less likely to start revolts against you because you, they know you're merciless. So that's kind of a cool system and they track it with a, with a, with a modifier. So that'd be something I'd like to see implemented into the base game because you can just be the nicest Christian ruler in the world as we've seen this entire game. And people love you, you know? But I don't really want to... It doesn't make any sense that you can't just rule through fear because that's like a very legitimate tactic. So we can push a claim here. And it says, weirdly enough... Um, oh, so, so Bishop will become... It won't be our vassal, but it'll become someone else's vassal? That seems peculiar. Um, we'll become the guy that we're going to war with vassal. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh, because we're taking it from the Duke of this... I see. Okay. Um, well, not too interested in that one. I just wanted to try and grab some stuff here. Um, we'll become... Yeah, so we can just give him new vassals. So it doesn't really help us too much. We could unjust conquest, but again, that costs us so much prestige. I think as it stands right now, basically we're stuck as far as conquest go. Unless we want to maybe, I don't know, are these guys up for <sighs> unjust conquest? We can't even make them like our vassals or anything. They are defending against this dude. They're going to lose against this dude more specifically. Um... What about, like, you guys? We got we got any cast a spell against you? Um, nothing, really. But I think we're just basically waiting for our next character at this point. Another daughter. Are you kidding me? She is another sickly prodigy, though. Um, right, okay, what have we got kicking around here? Bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie was avant-garde. Avant-garde and croissant. Two very famous house carling names there. You will be conscientious, and we will start educating you almost immediately. Uh, sumptuous baptism sounds very useful. Uh, only the Pope is fit to baptize her. Now, who do we want to be her godparent? Um, these all seem like very arbitrary choices. You all do. Why not? You seem useful. Baptized by the Pope. Right. So, she's the one ideally... Can we get you to... Oh, it's too late to baptize you now because you're two. Shit, that's annoying. Um, okay. So, what we want to do then, as, assuming she survives, is we absolutely want to make her the golden child here. Because she's one of the first characters that we've had that's not unfruitful. Unlike her older sister, Croissant. Who is unfruitful. I did go for duty with her. Good, good, good. Okay, so we want to also maybe be her educator as well. Either one will do. But obviously she's now been baptized by the Pope. So that'd be kind of useful as well. Um, then, what about this murder plot though? How do, I, how do I do these murder plots? And this guy's got 248% plot power. Oh. Is it where he's grown up? Is that mess with it at all, do you think? Let's try that again. Because that was uh, clearly not working as intended. Yeah, look. His plot power is now massively lower. Alright, let's try now. Fascinating. I must visit the monastery. I simply must have some of these roses. Sure, we could try and get green fingers. What's that? Stewardship, if we're if we're lucky. <sighs> Stop raising troops where I've got my retinues based, for the love of God. Now, we can rank up for what it's worth, even though we are a very much a mur known murderer here. Mark that special interest and fulfill that mission. So, we'll always get prompted to do that when we can now. There we go. Oh, shit. It's actually fired. 193% in the end. That's not too terrible. My co-conspirator, Mayor Gasper, has let me know that he's going to be eaten by this giant blue fish. Let's do it. Um, This guy would... On it wants to pay me homage. Sure. Fine. I'm happy you came. Using more informal terms to address him despite the difference in rank. There you go. Apparently he's pleased with that. Um, 219 gold. I mean, we've got all the... Anything that requires gold is absolutely fine by me. 
gain a rash. Oh shit, please. Please, you need to kill him. You need to kill him, otherwise it's, it's legitimately game over very, very soon. We've got the family focus. We, do we want to flip to hunting? I don't think we're going to get any more kids. Let's put it that way, right? Let's go for hunting focus and just pray. Just hope and pray to God that, fingers crossed, we get that hunting dog gifted to us sooner rather than later. If we got anything that increases health, um, we've got the magnum opus on... Uh, do we have it equipped? Or is it magnum opus? Why do all these fucking artifacts move around every time I load this game up? The universe panacea is giving us health plus one. So we might be okay if it's not a particularly lethal disease. In fact, it's just a rash by the looks of it. That might just be it. Okay, that's fine. I don't think that'll quite kill us off. She needs familiar faces around her. Wait, she's... Oh, she is pregnant. <laughs> she needs familiar faces around her for no reason at all. Just, just in her day-to-day -day life, I guess. There we go. Okay, we're fine. Nothing to worry about. Maybe third time lucky with the sun so we don't get the game over. How about that? The sun, maybe? The white stag. Well, that was very quick. Um, oh, it's going into hiding. Uh, this could be... Oh, my God. It happened. Unfruitful again, though. For the love of fucking God. These traits, it's always unfruitful prodigy. Every single time. She's prodigy. We are unfruitful prodigy. Yeah, maybe it's just unfruitful is a high chance to be inherited. Thierry, no. You are going to be in tradition. Au contraire. Welcome. Welcome to the world, my son. And now we've got rebels. In celebration, we have... Rebels. Baptism, immediately. Conscientious, immediately. Only the Pope, immediately. Who do we want to dare to be? Um, they're all shit, but my sister seems the most appropriate. Priceless Sight, welcome to the world. Young Au Contraire the Fourth. We might be playing as Au Contraire for quite a while, and honestly, I'm fine with that. Obviously, the downside to playing as a young character is that we're, our invasion, Cassus Bella, is going to take a very, very long time before we get it again. We do want to educate him. Well, I think now we get rid of... Sorry, Croissant, you are awful. So you can go under Gargamel, who is, who is also very, very good, so we can't call about that too much. Now, we need to be very, very careful with matrilineal marriages from now on. Mainly because, obviously, we're agnatic cognatic now, so Au Contraire, boom. Good luck, child. Now, fingers crossed, we can get up to, um... What is it we... Yeah, we want to get up to Commissus before we either die or that child, you know... Well, yeah, no, just before we die. I was going to say, there's nothing the child can do that we can't, obviously, get uh, Commissus there. Naturally, you're welcome. Ah, oh, and of course, he is at court as well. we got the same event firing again. I'm interested if... I don't know if any of you guys know. This is like, I'm, I'm extending this from just, you know, uh, stream of thought commentary to, to full-on question now. Is there... Events that also fire for that one or for the equivalent of the other stats as well Because I'd be kind of interested to know if we could stat them all up and just like I said constantly have this great Influx uh, this influx of great courtiers. Well, not much conquest Although we have gained a shit ton more of Greece that we've almost got the borders tidied up look at Spain as well More importantly the vassals are just grabbing most of Spain there. We've got a little bit more of Africa to get We've almost got all of that the vassals are just basically doing it for us at this stage but we've got all of Finland, all of Sweden, a little bit of Norway, obviously more of Denmark as well. Every episode we are making progress, even if I'm not the one doing it. I've I, What I've done is actually set us back quite significantly by empowering the council and fucking up the whole of our succession. So that's pretty fun. But you know who isn't fucking up the succession? You guys know who it's going to be. Let's, let's be reasonable here. We all know who it's going to be. It is a big thank you to Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydog, Atmosis, Sedini, Tim Bragg, Loris, Croesus, Vacuous Bacchus, Jocelyn, Dean, Tesla, Michael Wallen, Mora, Jacob Alexander, Fenton, Powers Presley, Asuna Kira, Token, Spire, T, Jimbo, Orkswell, Fukuna Vasquez, Tom Terry 18, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy 7011, Daniel Faust, Gray, and Eric B. Thank you all for your support at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for this very fun, nice and good series. I think it's been it's been pretty good. We're not we're, we're we're close to getting to the finishing line, but of course, if we do our whole religion change as well, that could be another aspect to this that I never really intended on doing, but it'd be fun nonetheless. And of course, a big thank you as well to Shari, Andrew Wilson, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Euphrates, Isaac the Great, Jack Allen, Wolfie, James Barnes. Sorry, there was something in front of my list. James Barnes, Betamus Max, Pantherpel, Gabriel Van Ders, Luan and Thomas, Nathan Flores, The Sage, Yoran DeVries, Haji Demar, Arakira, Don, Crazy Pat, Alpha Scuff, Don Cronin 2 and 7, Zet McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Seth All the Swedes, Sir Death, Asaro, Nick, Will Wade, Hancock, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, John Holiday, Zico, Jay Lara, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, and Justin Plock. Thank you all for your support, The Insane Two Lovers on Patreon.